With us once again in the studio is Beth Page, Federal Credit Union, and joining me now is Bob, and I'm very excited. He's the Senior Vice President of Marketing, and we're gonna be talking about the beautiful branches at Beth Page. Welcome, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Good, now you told me you've been with Beth Page for 11 years. I have. And so tell us about the branches. How many branches are there now? We have 34 branches in total uh, throughout all of Long Island. Um, they range in size from as small as a few hundred square feet up to 3,500 square feet. And when you decide to build a new branch, how, how do you determine that? We look at the area, the demographics of the area. We look to see, see what other banks are there, how they've grown over time. And we also look very important to us to who our members are in that particular area because we get so much from word of mouth because we were originally Grumman's credit union. So the Grumman employees have spread obviously throughout Long Island. So we have certain pockets, um, for instance, the Seaford, where we have over 15% of the households already banked with us but we didn't have a branch there. So as soon as we put in a branch, guess what? People start to talk and they tell their friends, they tell their neighbors about how wonderful Beth Page is and we get a lot of business. There you go, makes it more convenient for everybody. Now with the onslaught of um, online banking, mm -hmm. are people still going into the branch? You know, it's a phenomenon in, in the banking industry. They, they, they have been talking about the death of the branch since ATMs came out. Um, ATMs came out in the late 70s. Um, banks kept building more, credit unions kept building more. Um, People still use branches. Um, in what you see is the large commercial banks, the Bank of America, the city banks, and so forth. They've cut down a number of branches simply because they would acquire another bank and they keep those branches open. They weren't efficient. So if you look at somebody like Capital One, they have a branch all throughout Long Island. They started closing up offices because they never closed up any before. So all the pundits within the industry say, oh, people aren't going to use branches anymore. And in fact, we just did a uh, focus group just this past week with a whole bunch of different age segments and the younger people the millennials are going we want the branch and the older group which I'm a member of now is they want the branch too but for different reasons the younger group want it because they want to go in and talk to an expert the older people, they want to go a place to hang out. Yeah, it is kind of nice. You know, one of the things that I do is, um, the old movie, It's a Wonderful Life, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> I always think about that because when I go into my branch, people know me. They're like, oh, hey, Donna, how are you? And there's like a camaraderie and there's a security mm -hmm. and there's a comfort there mm -hmm. where you have that one-on-one -on -one relationship with somebody that's working with your money. Uh, it just makes you feel safer somehow and so that, that you're not just another number. Absolutely. And that's been the failure, really, of the Internet banks. Uh, there was originally one back in the 80s. It's called NetBank. And it, it didn't last for very long because they didn't have any branches. People want to see that. Why do branches, why did banks build these huge mausoleum-type places? I mean, they're just these gorgeous buildings. Um, and they did so because people wanted to see the safety and, and security of their money. Um, so that's very, very important to people. Okay, and now it's about the people. So Beth Page follows kind of the, their crowd, and they want to be there in the community, and they're, they're mm -hmm. wonderful community members. I know you sponsor a lot of things throughout the year. What are some things that you've personally been involved in? that you've enjoyed? Uh, um, I've, I've been a former board member of, of the uh, Urban League, uh, for instance, uh, United Way, um, those type of events. We're very, we're very strong in, in, those, in those areas. Linda Arman, who's our Senior Vice President of, of uh, uh, Community Affairs, really is the person that drives that more than anybody, and she is ubiquitous throughout all of Long Island. Um, probably every one of your viewers knows Linda or has, has met her at one particular point in time. Um, so, you know, we all chip in, we all do things, whether it, it be working at a, a soup kitchen um, or, you know, just, just being out and, and, and doing things. Uh, for instance, you were telling me earlier about uh, taking your son to uh, the uh, Beth Page ballpark. Yes, um, he loved it. Duck. Yeah, I mean, that's a big thing for us. And we have a Beth Page day there. We go out with all our employees, and it, it's a great event that we do every summer. So, you know, it's that type of event that we, we love to do. Yeah, I took Matthew down Fourth of July, so we're walking up, and he looks at me, and he points up, and he goes, look, Mom, it's a Beth page, you know? And I said, yeah, I said, they're great. So we had fun, uh, the fireworks and everything. So it's important, I think, that people realize all the things that Beth Page is doing in the community. And last month, uh, they were talking about careers. So yeah. Beth Page is growing. So how do you feel about that in your 11-year history, uh -huh. how you've seen it grow? Well, when I first joined, we had seven branches. And I mentioned earlier, we're 34 now. Um, and frankly, is I've put all those out there. Um, all, the, all those branches, the 27 that, that, that are out there today. And it's just been a wonderful thing. I meet with every new employee um, that comes in. I have a lunch with them. 
Um, yeah, it's really nice. And, and you know, let's say they're, they're kids, right? right? I mean, you know, that's <laughs> predominantly, or they're old guys like me. But, um, you know, and, and each one has just these wonderful stories. I ask them about themselves and how did they come to be. A lot of them are recommended by their parents. Or you should go work for Beth Page or a great mm. organization, which is just phenomenal. And I know you had Doug O'Neill on last show, where you have people recommending a place where you should go work is just a fantastic thing. And you know, and I know Doug talked about us being an employer of choice. That is very key to us. And you know, we're demanding. Um, we demand that you know you treat people with respect, that you you you're honest with them, you're open with them, because people trust us first and foremost, and that's why they bank with us. And Doug said people have to smile, which yeah, is true. Yeah, we force that on people. <laughs> No, but if you're genuinely happy with what you do, it just comes about naturally. Very much so. And what do you see on the horizon for Beth Page? What's going to be happening in the near future? Oh, uh, you know, we'll we'll continue on with our current growth. We're looking at, at different areas, uh, not just um, Suffolk and Nassau County. Perhaps uh, as we move towards the west, a little bit of Queens, um, working there. But you know, currently um, we don't have any specific growth plans in that regard. Our our thing is, you know, is really first and foremost is to concentrate on our members. Um, at some point, I'd like to come back, we'll talk to you about our business banking program we're putting into place that we're going to do in the fall. And that's, that's another thing. So, you know, we, 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 we're growing in a lot of different ways. And extended hours, which I think are important, mm -hmm. too. So why did you decide to do that at certain branches? Because <laughs> we're all working and you still need to have that face-to-face. -face yeah, or? I mean, it's as simple as that. I mean, you know, unfortunately, we're, we're not opening, uh, you know, throughout the week from, you know, 7 o'clock in the morning to 7 o'clock at night. But on, on Friday evenings, uh, we're always open late in all of our offices, usually on a Thursday. Depends on commuting tra uh, patterns. It depends where, where people live. Is it, is, it, is it more of an industrial area? Is it more of a, a, a residential commuter? That type of thing. We, t we, we look around. We take those things um, in stride and say, okay, what's important here? And we also look at the competitors because I'm always going to one-up my competitors. There you go. So if they're closed <laughs> at 5, I'm going to close at 6. There you go. Do a little better and a little brighter. <laughs> Absolutely. And you're customizing it depending on the community. That Absolutely. makes sense. Yep. Great. Well, thank yep. you so much, Bob. Really appreciate you being here. Well, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Stay tuned for more on Live It Up. And as you know, it's Love Beth Page.